Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Let's take a look at an example problem of a hiker that's going to make two uh, legs of a journey, and let's figure out how far they are from the start. And we're gonna say that the hiker walks 25 kilometers southeast, and then 40 kilometers at an angle 60 degrees north of east. And let's ask the following question. How far are they from the start and at what angle? Okay. How far away are they? And at what angle or what direction? All right. What should we do here first? How should we visualize these sorts of problems? What do you guys think we should do first? Yeah. Like a compass? Like a compass. All right. When you're looking at a compass, what does it say on the compass? North, east, south, and west. North, east, south and west. Typically, north is up, and that would make the other ones look like that. North, east, south, and west. So, hiker, let's say he starts right there at the origin, that's fine, right? And he's gonna walk 25 kilometers southeast. So which quadrant is that? One, two, three, or four? Quadrant four. And southeast means exactly between south and east. This angle right there is 45 degrees. And we know how long they walked. They walked 25 kilometers. So the length of that arrow is 25 kilometers. I can see already we're going to have to move this axis out a little bit. Give us a little more room. So now the hiker is going to go 40 kilometers, 60 degrees north of east. Question? Yeah. Yeah. When you did your angle, you said that if it's below the axis, it would be negative. Very okay. Negative. Excellent. So let's make it negative. I like that a lot. Negative 45 degrees. Let's keep it negative and we'll see how it works out. The good thing about having a picture here is we know where things are gonna line up, and so we can make sense of them afterwards, hopefully. Okay, 60 degrees north of east. How do I figure out what direction that is? Well, again, start with the of east part. Of east means look directly to the east. This dash line is directly to the east. And then, rotate towards the north by 60 degrees. So here I was looking east, I'm gonna to rotate to the north by 60 degrees, and that means that this angle right here is 60 degrees. And we know the length of this triangle right here, it's uh, 40 kilometers. Okay, so that's what our picture looks like. And I tried to draw it roughly to scale. If that's 25, that's 40, hopefully. And that means that our resultant vector had better be somewhere around there. Okay. And we're going to want to identify that angle right there. So how do we deal with this problem? Well, this is where the unit vectors come back into it. Let's call this 25, that's gonna be our vector A. And so vector A is going to have two components. It is going to have an X component, which is 25 times, is it sine or cosine of the angle? Yeah, what do you think? Cosine? Cosine. 
right? We drew the angle relative to the x-axis here, which means that the x component of this first leg is cosine. 25 times cosine of that angle, which is minus 45 degrees. Okay, that is the i-hat component. What about the vertical component, the j-hat component? What do I want to do there? Well, I want to add 25, I'm just going to erase this because we're going to run out of room, times, if I use cosine already, I had better use sine, and now I put in my angle, which we said was minus 45 degrees, j-hat. Now, let's convince ourselves that this is right. And I think people are wondering about this negative 45 degrees. If I take the cosine of 45 degrees, is that the same as the cosine of negative 45 degrees? Yes. Cosine of a negative angle is the same as cosine of that positive angle. So this is, in fact, the same as that. What about sine? If I take the sine of a negative angle, is that the same as sine of the positive? No, it's not. It's actually flipped. And so sine of negative 45 is the same as negative sine 45. Okay. So when I wrote negative 45 here, we have to add these vectors. If I had written 45 there, I would have to remember to put a minus sign in between them because it's pointing down. That first leg is pointing down. It's pointing positive in the x, but it's pointing negative in the y. All right? So that's the first leg, A. What about the second leg, B? Well, that one's pretty easy, right? We have everything defined relative to the x-axis already. So this is just going to be 40 times cosine of 60 degrees, I hat. My eyes are starting to get a little too squiggly there. Plus the vertical component, 40 times the sine of 60 degrees. And now we're nearly done. R is the sum of those two. And if I'm summing the two vectors, I can just add up the components, and those are my final components. So I have 25 cosine 45 degrees plus 40 cosine 60 degrees. All of that times I hat plus minus 25 sine 45 degrees plus 40 sine 60 degrees j hat. So what did we just solve for? We solved for this vector r. But that vector r is made up of two things r sub x and r sub y. And now we know exactly what r sub x is. It's all this stuff in the first parentheses. r sub y is all that stuff in the second parentheses. And if this is the angle theta that we're interested in, now we can calculate everything we need. Okay? And you can plug in all these numbers and you can compare them to what I got. For instance, if we want to calculate r, we do the square root of rx squared plus ry squared. All that first stuff in the first parentheses, that's r sub x. Second parentheses, that's r sub y. And if you compare your calculation to mine, I got 41.3 kilometers. And now theta, you can take any numbers you want, 
But let's say we take the tangent of theta. Tangent of theta is ry over rx. So when you take the arc tangent of that, you should get 24.1 degrees for that particular theta. And now we're almost there, but we need to specify what direction we're talking about. 24.1 degrees, what should I put after that? Should it be south of east or west of north or south of north? We said we don't do that one, right? So what should I put after this 24.1 degrees? What do you think? Raise your hand and shout it out. Yeah. Um, north of east. North of east. East is directly horizontal here. I would start there and rotate towards the north. And she's exactly right. That would be north of east. Okay. So those are the two answers that you should get for the, that problem. You can double check your math and make sure it works out for you. All right. Hopefully that's clear. And uh, if not, definitely come see me in office hours. All right, cheers. So what did we just solve for? We solved for this vector r. But that vector r is made up of two things, r sub x and r sub y. And now we know exactly what r sub x is. It's all this stuff in the first parentheses. r sub y is all that stuff in the second parentheses. And if this is the angle theta that we're interested in, now we can calculate everything we need. Okay? And you can plug in all these numbers, and you can compare them to what I got. For instance, if we want to calculate r, we do the square root of rx squared plus ry squared. All that first stuff in the first parentheses, that's r sub x. Second parentheses, that's r sub y. And if you compare your calculation to mine, I got 41.3 kilometers. And now theta, you can take any numbers you want, but let's say we take the tangent of theta. Tangent of theta is r y over r x. So when you take the arc tangent of that, you should get 24.1 degrees for that particular theta. And now we're almost there, but we need to specify what direction we're talking about. 24.1 degrees, what should I put after that? Should it be south of east or west of north or south of north? We said we don't do that one, right? So what should I put after this 24.1 degrees? What do you think? Raise your hand and shout it out. Yeah. Um, north of east? North of east. East is directly horizontal here. I would start there and rotate towards the north. And she's exactly right. That would be north of east. Okay. So those are the two answers that you should get for the, that problem. You can double check your math and make sure it works out for you. All right, hopefully that's clear. And uh, if not, definitely come see me in office hours. All right, cheers.